Within the next few minutes, you'll learn exactly how to set up the brand new OpenAI real-time API along with Twilio to make outbound calls. Because all the stuff I've seen this far just covers inbound call systems and I, for my use case, I needed to make it do the calls, not to receive them. So after messing around with the API, the new API for some hours, I figured out how to set that up and also figured out some other stuff that we'll cover later on. But first, let's get started with the setup itself. It's pretty easy. You'll have the link to the GitHub repo with all the files that you'll need in the description. We need ngrok, we need our Twilio phone number, our OpenAI API with real-time access because not everyone has access. I believe right now if you are level three or above, you can use it. And then we'll just need to update our .env with all these APIs and stuff. And finally, install the packages and run it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. We'll cover it step by step right now. For Ingrok, um, you can go to the website, download it if you don't already have it. This will allow us to host uh, this voice calling system within our computer, at least for testing. Then you can go ahead and upload it to Railway, Heroku, whatever you want, doesn't matter. But for now, we'll use Ngrok. So once you have it installed, we can just copy this command right here, open up the terminal. This, by the way, is all on the readme. That's also on the GitHub repo, all that text. But yeah, we can open up a terminal, paste that in, and you'll get your very own URL. URL, sorry about that pronunciation. But yeah, we can just copy it, head over to the .env, which is also on the GitHub repo, a sample. We can just paste that in, as the ngrok URL that you have, you have right there. And now we move on to the Twilio stuff. Super easy, once again, you can go to Twilio.com, head over to phone numbers, create an account if you, if you don't have one already, of course. But after that, head over to phone numbers and buy a number. Within here, um, you have a bunch of different regions. The only thing that you need to make sure is that it has voice capabilities. If it has this phone number, icon, symbol, whatever you want to call it, right there, it works. Otherwise, don't get it. For example, we can search for Portugal. Portugal does have some numbers that allow voice calling, others and others that don't have it. As you can see, some don't have that icon, so make sure it has the capability to make the calls and receive them as well. Um, so let's head over to United States once again. Once you find the number you like, you can just go ahead, click and buy. I already have mine, so I won't do that. Once you have bought it, you can head over to active numbers and copy the number and then go ahead and paste it within the uh, .env as your Twilio phone number right here. Afterwards, we'll need to head over to the account dashboard, which is right here on the top left corner. Click on that. And here we'll need to copy our account SID and authorization token. We'll go ahead, get these two things and copy them over to the .emp file. Lastly, you'll get your OpenAI API key, which you can just head over to platform.openai.com, create an account if you don't have it, and uh, create your API, paste it on here. That's pretty much it. Setup is Almost done. We can go ahead and save the .env. We can close it, uh, we can close it now. Um, afterwards, we just need to make sure that all the packages are installed, all the libraries. You have them all in the requirements.txt. You can install them straight from there. And now, it's all done. Basically, we just hit run. And for convenience, I added this uh, functionality which you can just enter the phone number that you want to call. In my case, I'll just type mine then real quick. Uh, there you go. You type it in and you'll receive a call. In my case, I put in uh, this phrase right here. It'll say this one is starts to call. And then it'll connect to the real-time API and start talking like a, real assist like a normal assistant. Which prompt will I use? Well, it loads up uh, a txt file that's within the prompts folder. You can go ahead and get that in. And inside, uh, just very brief, very brief prompts, which you can edit that. I added it in as a txt file because I found it easier to edit instead of just having it on the code, sorry why. So yeah, basically we just press enter and we'll go ahead and receive a call within a couple of seconds. Probably won't be able to hear much through the recording, but trust me, the assistant works. There we go, call is incoming. 
I just pick it up. Wait while we connect your call to the AI voice assistant. Uh, says the phrase. Okay, we... you can start talking. Hi. Hello there. How are you doing today? Is there anything fun or interesting you'd like to chat about? I'm doing pretty good, thank you. How about you? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. So, what's been the highlight of your day so far? This call has been super amazing. That sounds fantastic. Okay. Was Anyways. it a new movie or an old movie? Um, as you can see, it works. I just hung up, so that whole thing broke. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Now going into how well it works. Right now, it's it's very new, not production ready at all, in my opinion. I still think the whole um, BAPI or whatever other provider you want to use, that method works better in my opinion right now, because you, like, as far as I know, you can't get uh, proper transcripts for the, for the call. You can only get whatever the assistant says. If you want to get what the actual user says on the phone, you'll need to use uh, Twilio, I believe, or whatever. It's not very reliable right now, um, at least for what I found. And also, you do have the ability to have turns, so you can interrupt the assistant. But I found that doesn't really work very well, at least for now. So yeah, there's a couple things that need to be figured out. It's also not super affordable at the moment, but long term, I would say this is the way to go. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully I saved you some very valuable time. And if you need help trying to figure out how to develop these solutions, uh, whether it's for your business or for your agency, feel free to book in a call with a calendar link below. And subscribe i guess 